Chase Leitenberg, Bryce Markham, Lillian Martin, Jalen Mullins, Colin Neff, Hudson Neff, Caroline Robbins, Walker Robbins, Saxon Skidmore, Bo Smith, Caden Spurlock, Shirley Washburn, Trevor Webb, and Matthew Willis. Let's give these students a hand. Just as a reminder, if you look over here, these are the pictures that were in the King <coughs> Times News. Just recognize our students and the efforts that they make. Uh, also, the efforts that our staff make to make sure that these students have the opportunities to have art. Uh, if you all could slide together. Next is public comment. Do we have any public comment? My name is Barbara Martin, a former teacher, uh, retired, and we come to you tonight, Mr. Ball and I, uh, with a uh, reference with the uh, St. Charles Alumni Association, and what we are requesting is that uh, the gymnasium at St. Charles be named for Gary Buchanan. He's done oh, eons, eons, 30 years with the basketball team up there, and uh, the association, we have a plaque. This one is mine that I received this year, but it would be something similar to this that would go on the wall. It's a very nice plaque. The uh, alumni association would pay for that and have it installed. And upon the closing or possible closing of St. Charles, uh, that he would receive the plaque and take it with him. So what we're asking is that you all would take this into consideration and name the gym for him. That's PG. That's PG. <laughs> that will be in parentheses. Yeah, no, nobody won't know him as no, Gary. No, no. <laughs> and Mr. Ball, I became aware of this request uh, earlier this week. I have your phone number, so I'll be in touch with you uh, early next week if that's okay. And we'll start working on necessary paperwork to bring that back to the board for October action. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Appreciate that very much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Any other public comment? If not, we'll move the consent agenda. Do we have a motion to approve the consent agenda? I make a motion that we approve the consent agenda consisting of the following. Approval <coughs> of claims and expenditures. Approval of minutes from the August 10th, 2017 regular meeting and the August 10th, 2017 special called meeting. Approval of Head Start Policy Council bylaws for 2017-2018 and field trips and the following field trips the career and technical center national ffa convention indianapolis indiana ely dale elementary washington dc lee high school bands of america winston-salem regional and winston-salem north carolina the black friars playhouse in stanton virginia thomas walker high school educational tour hawaii and the universal studios grad night in, in orlando florida Motion has been made. Do we have a second? I'll make a second. Any discussion? I'll, I'll ask the question about Hawaii and make things clear. I know some of that sounds extravagant, but this don't count, cost the school system nothing, right? No, sir. This is a request from Thomas Walker for the Science Club to go to Hawaii, and they're requesting permission to raise funds for that. This will not encumber any school board funds. Uh, nor will it encumber school funds. This will be monies raised uh, by these students for that trip. Uh, this is a trip that they have taken, uh, from my understanding, every other year. I think, I think a couple years ago they went to Italy. Is. So uh, this is providing them the opportunity to do that fundraising. Okay. 
any other discussion. Motion has been made with a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Up next, reports of the board. Do we have any reports of the board? If not, we'll move to reports of the division superintendent. I'll trust. Mr. Chairman, members of the board, uh, first up is the enrollment summary from August. Uh, you'll notice there's a little change in the format. Uh, this is Ms. Sloan, who is now our database manager and has uh, put in a a uh, little different touch on it with the same data. Uh, pleased to inform you that our current enrollment uh, as of this report was 3,076. So that's our current enrollment, which is 26 more than what we had budgeted uh, at 3,050. Uh, our average daily membership as of this report was 3,061, almost 3,062, which is again, 12 students over what we had budgeted. So uh, that's good news. Uh, our enrollment is up uh, almost 21 students from last year and up almost 53 students from May. So uh, enrollment has held as we had projected, so that's a good thing. Any questions? Next up, the highest percentage of attendance for last month. Uh, second place goes to St. Charles and first place goes to Elk Knob. So we will inform Mr. Huff and make sure that he receives that uh, trophy to display in his school. Uh, hats off to Elk Knob and that community, the staff and the parents for uh, supporting children on a daily basis. So uh, appreciate what that community and staff are continuing to do. As you're aware, uh, they were recognized, both of those schools were recognized this year for their performance uh, on SOL tests. So attendance is a huge part of that as we've discussed. Next up, we have an operations update. I'm not gonna read this to you, but it gives you an idea of what our staff has been working on, our maintenance staff has been working on uh, over the summer as well as the month of August. Uh, so this is ongoing projects in some instances, but also some punch list items, if you will. Lastly, uh, well, next to last, we have a announcement from the State Board of Education yesterday, press release. Uh, that announced that 86% of schools in the Commonwealth are fully accredited. Uh, pleased to announce that uh, eight of our 10 schools are fully accredited. The two that are not fully accredited are Pennington Middle, which is partially accredited, uh, and they are partially accredited, but good news is they have an improving school pass rate. Uh, so hats off to Ms. Collier and her staff for continuing to make measurable progress in serving our students. Uh, the other school that did not make it, but is partially accredited is Lee High School. Uh, they are a partially accredited warned with a graduation rate and completion index. Uh, the concern there is our ongoing concern about a dropout rate and how we're serving our students. Uh, so we will be working on that this coming year, but uh, good news that eight of our 10 schools are fully accredited. <coughs> Any comments? <coughs> so what are we doing to take care of that problem? Uh, we have been working with our guidance staff to identify students who are, who are uh, considered to be dropout, <coughs> dropout possible, uh, that there are a high possibility of being a dropout. So uh, working with those students to try to figure out what we can do to get them caught up and on pace to graduate on time in the, as opposed to dropping out or not graduating on time. Well, if there's some astounding number of the students that came in as ninth graders to Lehigh, and how many that graduating, is that part of the problem here? Yes, sir. What was the, what was the number of losses of students that you told me? Uh, from <coughs> Lehigh, off the top of my head, I'm not sure, but division-wide, it was 27 students. <coughs> I thought even more than that. I can double check, but off the top of my head. Our graduation and completion rate for that class, I think, was 77%. So I, I can get you the exact numbers. Okay. Last up, uh, we have a request to declare next week uh, Constitution Week, and that will be September 17th through the 23rd. Uh, we have a request from, I think it's the uh, Daughters of the American Revolution, and we're going to designate that as such and make sure that that. Uh, is recognized in our schools. So uh, just as a quick update of uh, a significant event this week. <coughs> Mr. Chair. Thank you, sir. Up next, unfinished business. Do we have any unfinished business? If not, we'll move on to action and discussion items. First action item, if any, to approve the disposal of surplus property per school board policy, <coughs> DEM disposal of surplus items. <laughs> We have a motion for action item A. <clears throat> I'll make the motion. Do we have a second? 
Second. Motion to be made with a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Next is a B action. If any, to approve fees for the 2017-18 school year school board policy, JN student fees, fines, and charges. <coughs> we hear a motion on item B. I'll make a motion on item B. And we hear a second. Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Next is C, action to authorize the division superintendent to fill vacancies existing or occurring between September 15, 2017 through October 12, 2017. We have a motion for action item C. Make a motion we authorize the division superintendent to fill vacancies existing or occurring between September 15, 2017 through October 12, 2017. Motion been made, I'll second it. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? <coughs> Motion carried. All right, up next is D, action if any to award the contract to Estes Brothers Construction for RFP numbers 17-1010, Gymnasium Demolition. And we hear a motion for action item D. I'll make that motion. Do we have a second? Second. Any discussion? I want you to touch on, on this if you don't care, Dr. Austin, where it is and what it is and <coughs> why, why for the demolition. Uh, yes, sir. This is the gymnasium that's located next door here to the school board office. We have had it locked up for the better part of a year due to uh, concerns about safety. Uh, we put did a request for proposals. Uh, Estes Brothers responded with a bid to demolish that as well as remove all of the uh, remnants from that building and uh, administration recommends approval because of the safety piece of it. Thank you. Any other discussion? Motion been made with a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Up next is board comments. Do we have any board comments tonight? I'd like to thank the folks that have been coming out to, to our hearings on the facility study and also urge those uh, in the other communities as we have others to, to come out <coughs> to hear the input and, and also that um, keep in mind the, the students that this is their future. Thank you, Ms. Jason. I'll second that. I'll third that. Any other board comment? If not, do we have a motion to go into closed session? Mr. Chairman, I make a motion to go into closed session to discuss personnel code of Virginia 2.2-3711A1, to discuss student discipline code of Virginia 2.2-3711A2, to discuss pending and threatened litigation code of Virginia 2.2-3711A7, and to consult with legal counsel, that's Code Virginia 2.2-3711A8. Thank you, Mr. Harbor. Do we have a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 We're now in closed session.